my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. It is Thursday, May 19th, and all of the binding is on the body. And I'd like to say it went real easy, but it didn't. Then when I was starting to cl the cleanup process, and I'm still not done with the cleanup process, this piece chipped out in here, and you could see the black laminate in there so I had to re so I cut it off right here at the body seam and I replaced this length of uh, binding and the same thing happened on this piece here so this was the very first piece of binding that I put in that goes all the way around this curl and all the way down to this curl so I had to take that all out and put that all back in you'll see all of that whenever the real video comes out on how I did all this it's just not simple and so at least I've got it that far so for the most part it's done except that I still have two more critical parts to make I have to make these body uh, point protectors in here and so there's a lot of work to do in that yet I've got to do that I did do one decorative part yesterday and I thought I'd show you that up close you notice right here where the wooden button used to be it is now all abalone I got rid of the wood underneath you know more or less routed it out and then I traced the shape and then cut a piece of abalone to fit the exact shape and stuck it in there I think that looks really good gives it gives it kind of a nice finishing touch but it's yeah, I've still got a pretty big fight ahead of me. I got to get these point protectors on there today. Then I've got to try to clean it all up. And hopefully tomorrow then I can, I may have to coat it with one more coat of shellac first. You know, I'll have to stain it too. You know, I'll I'm not going to worry about the neck part here. That's why I have it taped off. I'm not going to stain the neck part until I'm done. When I'm done with everything, then I'll stain that and just leave that uh, and oil it. But I'm not going to finish the neck part. I want it uh, raw wood because it's just much slicker for playing. Uh, and it, you won't hardly be able to tell it by looking at it, believe it or not. It, uh, it actually looks real nice when it's done. But anyway, we're getting closer and closer. Um, I'm really hoping to have it playable a week from tomorrow, uh, Friday. So next Friday, I'm hoping to be able to play this thing. Don't know if that'll work out or not. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. I will say tomorrow, Friday, uh, I would normally have a shop talk, but my internet situation has not gotten any better in fact it's degraded some more and I assume that's because the leaves have even closed up more uh, so the speed is actually slower now than it even was last week or just even a few days ago you can you can just tell whenever you do speed tests you can just see that it's degrading every single day and I am 99% sure that the leaves are just closing in more and more. The tower is high enough and everything that it gets some signal, but it doesn't get a full signal anymore. So I'm hoping that this weekend I'll get up the nerve to try to raise that tower up the 15 feet that I can raise it. Even that might not help at all. I really don't even know if it'll help. It can't hurt though. So yeah just not easy being me <laughs> and yeah the Starlink thing everybody tells me star about Starlink like I don't know about it I've had my deposit in on Starlink for more than 15 months now and uh, yeah you can't get a hold of those people there's no way to contact them uh, I saw Jay Christina's uh, he's a photographer I saw his vlog on uh, how to get a hold of Starlink. I tried his method. It does not work for me. It works for him. It does not work for me. And the difference, I suppose, is he's already got Starlink and therefore he can still, he can get a hold of their customer service. I do not have Starlink. I'm on the waiting list and I don't get the options he gets on his screens. All he does is he asks a question and he goes into the FAQ, the Frequently Asked Questions, and he asks a question and then he has a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Did this help you or did it not? And if you click the thumbs down, well then you get further information and actually get to go in to talk to Starlink via email. 
I don't get that option. I don't get a thumbs up or thumbs down. It never asked me, was this information helpful or not? You know, I don't get those questions. So his, uh, his help wasn't all that helpful. Unfortunately, I do not know how to get a hold of him. I do not know when or if I'll ever get Starlink. You know, all last year they said it was planned for the end of last year. Now they're saying it's planned for the middle of this year. That's That part is up on my screen, whether that's the case or not, whether I will get it middle of this year. I just have to keep working with what I've got to work with and uh, that's why I need to raise the tower. So. Uh, trust me, I've tried every other kind of internet there is out here. I've tried uh, the watered down DSL, which absolutely sucked. I've tried two or three different companies with uh, satellite. That absolutely sucks. Uh, I tried radio wave antenna. Uh, I even erected a 65 foot tower way up on top of a hill that would talk directly to Rala. That was my second best internet service I had, but it wasn't even as good as what I have now through T-Mobile and the cell tower. Even with my signal degraded as it is, this signal still better than even that radio wave tower. You can't know all the things I try, trust me. You only see a tiny bit on video. <laughs> I'll probably put another vlog out tomorrow in lieu of the shop talk. Sorry, we just can't handle a shop talk under these conditions. Thanks for watching.